Tree that's been hit a few times this week. Yep, good sign there. Right to the ground and hit into that upslope. That's a good shot. Keegan, 114. Big difference here in yardage between these two players. Tug it a little bit. Not much, if you want to say. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get the line there a little bit from Shez's putt. See if he can separate himself. There it is. A little bit of different angle helps keep the ball from going to the left. Birdie for Bradley, up by two. Well, that sky looks a little ominous. Let's hope that's nothing there except the passing clouds. Keegan Bradley off the tee. And really the toughest tee shot on the front nine for these players. And it's been made easier with that wind being downwind now. You know, facts. Guys hitting just short irons into this whole location. Big gun. Big gun. Oh, it is. You can't play defense either, even with this two shot lead. And for the 19th birdie of the day on this fourth hole. He's six behind Bradley, who's on the tee at the sixth. The Just one of two par fives here, TPC for the Highlands. Hey, Have a chance to reach despite the length of this par five. I'm not so sure he needs all of this. It's only 241 front. Oh, things going his way just carries the little mound and that's good now really good John's perhaps for an eagle Amanda up by the clubhouse Mark Dusbavik with the rules and we're right out to the sixth with this eagle putt coming up thanks Jim Bradley has not missed a shot every fairway every green so far today and that'll be tap in for a four and that'll be his third birdie dotty in four holes yeah, keeping his foot firmly on the gas pedal. He said yesterday that would be necessary and he's doing it so far. Just one drop shot in the entire tournament so far. Back at the 11th hole with Keegan Bradley, downhill par three. This hole today, Dottie, has averaged 2.75. It has been a birdie fest. And it looks like another one here. He likes those left hole locations, doesn't he? He sure does. He loves that little baby draw. And it's another one. Now leads by five. And he's putting like Billy Casper. Wind is not what it was yesterday, though. It should make it a touch easier. This actually is the hardest fairway to hit out here today, TPC River Highlands, but Bradley gets that fairway wood down the left side. That is a pitching wedge in hand, flighting it down yeah. just a little. Oh my goodness, look at this. What did I say? He likes those left hole locations. Back at 12, Keegan to get to 26 under. Slightly up the hill. Keegan Bradley keeps pouring in the birdies. Now you're six ahead. Look at this stroke. Starting to hear a very engaged um, New England accent crowd. More left. More left. This could be left of the bunker. Well, he's going to get up close and personal with those New England fans who love him so much. <laughs> on the hill, right under where you guys are sitting. Yeah, it's better under the umbrella, so what you're saying? It is indeed, with a gap wedge. That'll be good enough. He can take a deep breath now. Sure can. They gave him a huge ovation yesterday, walking up the 18th. And you're going to hear it build over these next 30 seconds.
Wonderful touch. Dreamt of this moment forever. New England's very own takes the title at the Travelers. rookie tour card in 2011 you said I wasn't dreaming about the majors or the playoffs or the money I was dreaming about getting to play right here at the Travelers Championship yeah. what does it mean to now be a winner at your hometown event uh, you know this is for all the kids who grew up in New England got to sit through the winters and watch watch other people play golf and I just am so proud to win this tournament. Travelers and everybody involved puts on a first-class tournament. It's been like this for a decade, and I'm just so proud to be the winner here. You weren't much older than your two sons when you came here with your family for the first time. Can you put into words what this full circle moment means? As you said, your, your kids now know what dad does for a living. They're old enough. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I, I can't believe that they're here. They're so, my wife, Jillian, I love her so much. She's the best. Um, I just am so happy to have my family here. They're, they're my lucky charm, and I love them so much. You're a massive New England sports fan. All of these fans, all of these chants in New England are now here for you. How have these fans helped propel you this week? Oh, my goodness. It's been unbelievable. I'm, I'm so lucky and so thankful to be from this New England area, and I just can't believe this seems like a dream. And lastly, it took a lot of fight. You had to go extremely low to get it done. Coming off a miscut where it was putt-putt for you with the kids yeah. last weekend, what did you find this week to get this one done? Well, I had my coach, Darren May, came in, and he, he tuned me right up. So we something clicked on, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I played great up until the last like five or six holes. And luckily enough, I had a big enough lead to coast home. It was incredible to watch. Celebrate with these fans. I know they're going to be cheering for you until this time next year. Keegan Bradley, you just won the Travelers Championship. Yes, I'm so <laughs> thankful. Thank you so much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.